can actually see the screen really smooth. Tô com o sim, online, no premium. A lot more clear when it's like fast movements and things are going kind of quick. Brazil, the monitors were, were really different, so the reaction time, the movement on the enemy was really hard to follow. And for now, on VCT, I, I really noticed that difference, especially on the clutches. So yeah, now I can actually see more smooth on, the, on my screen. I think it's probably better at Los Angeles, just when there's a lot going on, it feels a lot clearer and a lot easier to pay attention to the different things that are happening on the screen. Player. Most of the players use Bart Vandal, try to one tap, mm. and I think that's why like Dayak is important and this monitor is important for me on 360 because when you're doing like spray transfer, you, you can actually see the screen really smooth at a time. So I think it makes it better to just do a really good spray transfer on it and it don't ever stop. It doesn't have like those, those freeze on the screen, you know. So that's a, a difference that I noticed from the lock-in example. Eu sei, tipo, é mais um movimento do do agente, então. Com mais clareza, né? Uh, eu tenho jogado com o Dayak, sim, online, no Premium, porque o movimento do boneco dá uma diferença bem grande. Você consegue ver, inclusive, até a Jet em Dash, isso daí em momentos específicos pode te ajudar muito e pegar um kill muito importante durante a partida. Sim, eu acho que no nesse caso, realmente se sente muito mais claro quando são movimentos rápidos e as coisas estão muito rápidas but it feels a bit blurry on the other side when you're doing something quick. I think it can really benefit you um, if you're like defending and uh, like a jet dashes in a sight or a raised satchels. Um, it's a lot easier to kind of track the target than uh, on a different monitor. For me, I'm a huge fan of the monitor that has this, you know, not, not the V format, because as my keyboard, I usually play like with this, and then my, like this V is kind of hard for me, especially. I think it's hard for FPS players because they always like, you see all the pro players playing like this, you know, they are always focused. So yeah, I think this format is good. I think the biggest difference, of course, between the monitors is the facility and the option of things that Azul Edge offers on the monitor. The other monitors normally don't have these options and it ends up difficulting your life a little bit to play.